guys, it's May May, and we continue to do things for my master bedroom, creating pretty things to hang on the wall and sit around. And today, I'm going to start on the project for over my bed. Now, I told you guys that I was going to do something um, on the canopy, like a curtain or a drape, but the problem is, I don't want to anymore. Since I put my curtains up, I'm like, I don't want that much burlap, so I have a new idea. I bought this book at the thrift store for, well... I bought this book and a piece of sheet music, and it was 50 cents for both, so a quarter or 50 cents, and it is a hymn book, a hymnal, and there are pages and pages and pages, and I love the paper cone wreaths and decorations, and I'm going to turn this 50 cent book into a beautiful paper cone decoration for over our bed. I'm going to start by taking the pages out of this entire book and making cones. Now, I want you, if you're going to do this, take it out and practice. That cone is a little too tight for me, but if I loosen it up a little bit, I feel like this is a good paper cone, and I'm going to make a bunch of these. I mean, I'm going to do every single one, and once I get it where I want it, I'm just going to hit it with some glue and close it. Now, let me tell you what I've seen somebody else do before, and it is super fast, quick, and easy, and that is to take your cone like this, and then take a stapler and stick it inside and staple it and now your cone is ready to go if you have enough staples to do that go for it you're not going to see that staple and besides that you can also turn it over or turn it around or whatever way you want to do it and you can put this in deeper and hide it but by the time you put all these cones together for your for your project you're not going to see this it's going to be hidden so if you want to do it with a stapler great if you want to do it with scotch tape do it as long as it stays shut that's all you care about so i'm going to do all these pages and we will get back together okay so, this is what I got whenever I finished doing all the cones for the hymnal. Can you see this? It's a lot. <laughs> I hope it's enough. I think it will be, but this is the entire book that I got from the thrift store. Now, mm -hmm. I'm in kind of a rough videoing location, but I'm going to try to make this happen as good as I can. So, this is a piece of board that was left over from our um, home building. When they were building the house and they were doing the cabinetry, they left this piece of board in our garage and I'm so thankful because I'm gonna use it. Um, I have my hot glue gun all hooked up. Let me get it from over here. Here's the hot glue gun. Oh, I hate my hot glue gun, but I'm gonna use it. Okay, so my plan is to start in this corner. Now where this piece is going, um, this is one foot wide and where it's going is a two foot wide section. So I wanna make sure I don't take up all my space but with my cones being off of the board so I'm going to attempt to keep them in a little bit and here's what I'm going to do I'm going to flatten the cone and I'm going to fold the bottom so when I hot glue I'm going to put a piece inside and then on it so that, so that way I'll have a little more room for my next row of cones I'm also going to put one in each corner to start with and then I'm going to fill in from there. This is a big rectangle so it might be a little bit wonky at first for me to get going but the cones will fill out and make it work. So let's put some hot glue on here. So I put a little on the inside of that fold and the outside of the cone. And that's going to be my starter point. And glue that in place like so. Then I'm going to go ahead and do one at the other end. Kind of get myself in a rhythm. This book smells like old book stores. <laughs> this paper does. I guess that's appropriate. Okay, let's get this one in. I'm just kind of eyeballing. These paper cones, as you get going, the project looks better and better the more you add, the more you add. Now you certainly could go through and hot glue that down to all of them before you start doing this part, but I'm just going to do it all together. Now I'm going to overlap this one here Bring it in a little bit, and then I'm going to fill in that hole right there with one. I'm just going to stick this one in here, and I think that'll give me a good edge. My kids are home this afternoon, and they're playing basketball, so you're probably hearing all that. But we have kids at home, right? So we just have to keep going.
think that's going to work just fine. Let me turn this where you can see a little more of it. And let's go do this turn. And what you want to be careful of is not folding this edge. These folds aren't going to affect anything, but up here you don't want to fold that because you'll lose your, your circle at the end of your cone. Now I'm going to go ahead and do this end just like I just did the other. Something I want to point out. In case you aren't getting the points that you want at the end of your cones, make sure when you lay them down you put the cone side down. I don't think I said that, and that's pretty important because if you do them all, you want to make sure you lay them all the same way. If you do them like this, it'll be pretty too, but make sure they're all the same. Don't mix them up. So either the smooth side or the cone side of um, your cone should be up, or the point side. So decide which way you want to do that. I like the point side being to the wall. Okay, so here we are with the two rows of the cones glued down. And I just simply went around the outside of the board and then I just came inside and I just kind of went in about two inches and did my second layer of cones. Now we're gonna do the good part. Now, along the same vein of turning trash to treasure, which I've been doing a lot this week, I have this granola bar box <laughs> that I have cut down to fit in this long kind of valley there. And what I'm gonna do with it is I'm gonna cover it in my floor de lis burlap and I'm, I'll show you how I'm going to do that but I'm just going to cover that so that I can bring the floor de lis into the center of this and very importantly before I do anything else I took that um, granola box and I cut some strips also about an inch inch and a quarter wide and I glued five of them together with my hot glue just like that okay using hot glue so I come up with these and they're real sturdy, okay? What I'm gonna do with these is I'm gonna put one on this end, one on this end, and I'm gonna glue that other one together I showed you and put it in the middle, and that's gonna be the brace for what I glue this down to so that it's not totally flat. If you glue it too flat, you flatten these out too much and you really want them to pop. So I'm trying to give it a little bit of lift, but not too much lift. So that's how we're gonna do that to get it down flat. So I'm gonna reset this and show you how we're gonna cover that cardboard. Okay, so now that we've got our um, cardboard cut for the center and I've, I've gone ahead and cut burlap about an inch and a half on either side. All we're going to do here is just wrap it like a present basically. I'm just going to glue here. Remember this is burlap so don't burn your fingers and you do want to pull it kind of snug just like you were doing if you were um, upholstering or um, wrapping fabric on a, on a frame or something like that where you can get it nice and snug because you don't want it to be loose. So press that in and get that to stay down really well. Now I'm just going to do the other end exactly the same. If you pull it snug enough, that hot glue will get up in the fiber without you having to touch it too much. If you have your little tool though, you can use that little tool also. This is my little tool that I'm talking about. It's just a silicone like spatula. 
All right, now I'm going to come in here and I'm going to cut some of this bulk out of the way. Just so when I fold it over, it won't be quite so bulky, just a little bit. And now taking our glue, I'm going to run a little bit at a time. I'm going to flip this over. I will get my hand out of the way for you eventually. I'm just going to use my tool and press that into place. These little silicone tools are invalu invaluable with hot glue. Now I'm just going to do that all the way around and cover this guy up. So now as you can see, I have this piece of upholstered ready to go on. It looks like upholstery, i got to be honest. It really looks cool. Um, and I'm going to use my risers. I'm going to put some glue on there. Pretty good bit because I want it to sit and really be stuck down for me. It's so funny what you can put underneath stuff and nobody know what it is. Nobody's ever going to know I had granola bar boxes stuck under here, are they? Okay, so now that I have those all glued down and in place, I'm going to bring my panel over. And I'm going to put glue on my risers and then stick this straight down. You just want to center it in place. Kind of eyeball center it and then press it. It's probably not centered on the camera because I don't think I'm perfectly centered in the camera. I'm not. But that's all you're doing is just sticking that into place. That's all there is to it, guys. That is our songbook circled um, wall decoration for Above My Bed. And next time you see it, it'll be in pictures for you to see what it looks like. Thanks for watching, guys. I'll see you again soon. Bye-bye.